Hey there, and welcome back. In this section, we'll take more of a look at vectors in action. We'll do this by showing you examples of real queries in Weeb8 and outputs using our demo database. We've provided real, full examples of GraphQL queries and full responses from Weeb8 so that you can start to see how Weeb8 behaves given certain queries. Now, not that you'll be unfamiliar with the exact syntax of the query or the format of the responses for now, and that's perfectly okay. These examples are just there to give you an idea of how things work, and you'll get plenty of chances to try them out later anyway. As you look at these results, just consider whether you found these results to be sensible given the query text, and note how much or how little literal overlap exists between the search query and the result objects. For some comparison, we'll show you some hypothetical examples of what an equivalent search might look like with a relational database using SQL. We also introduced the concept of a distance. As we mentioned, vector databases retrieve objects based on similarity. So, a distance indicates how similar, or more precisely, how dissimilar a pair of objects are. This is a key concept in vector search and vector databases. That's all for now. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.